James here. Uh, we're going to be doing a 200 point infinity game. We're also going to be playing Yams again. For those of you who don't know what that is, that's yet another mission system. So I'm going to be playing Ariadne again. Brian's going to be playing Toha. So that's what we're going to be getting down with today. Okay, so for the Ariadne list, we got a Lion Kha'Zix here, just a regular Lion Kha'Zix. Has a rifle, moving on to the next Lion Kha'Zix. Has a, he is a paramedic. Got a veteran Kha'Zix who has a, he's actually a paramedic as well. He has Mind of Citizen, veteran level two. He has an AP rifle, light flamethrower. We got a Highlander Gray. He has a T2 rifle, two light shotguns, grenades, smoke grenades, so on and so forth. Moving on. We also have the Mavericks who just has a boarding shotgun. And we also have three camo oh, markers. So starting off, we got the Kamel, who is a paramedic. Moving on, we also have the other Kamel, who has a sniper rifle. Moving on, another Kamel has a combi rifle. We have the Gal Rail, who has a multi spectral visor level two and also has a sniper rifle. Moving on, we have the Sakil. The Sakil has combi rifle, or I'm sorry, vile combi rifle, swarm grenades. Moving on, we got the Ektros, who has a heavy machine gun. And moving on to the next one, also has a viral combi rifle, and that is it for the Toha. They will be divided into two different groups, as you will see. Galray will be by himself. Yeah. So what we got here is a civilian deployed over here, and the green crate is just right on this side. This is what Ariadna has for their objectives. Here are there the objectives that Toha have to accomplish. And this is what we got for the Ariadna deployment side. I will be taking first turn and Brian forced me to deploy first. Brian has that side over there and he'll be deploying shortly. Okay, this is what we got for the Toha deployment side. And this was for where those things are, and this is the board. Okay, Ryan's choosing to go ahead and spend one special order to go ahead and reduce my order pool by two, and we'll be going into Ariana turn one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and spend an order. I'm gonna be activating the Highlander Gray over here. He is going to go ahead and move his. He can move 4-4. Four, four. So he's gonna move just right around this building to right there. He's gonna spend his next short sale. I don't think anything can draw a line of sight. He's gonna go ahead and move another forward right there. Nothing with line of sight yet. Spending another order. He's gonna move up to, he just sort of really wants to get right there primarily. And that's going to end okay. his activation. He's gonna spend another order here. Going to move this here, which can move eight, six. And so, you know, she can kind of just go right there. I don't think anything can draw line of sight because this is walking there. Move the rest of her two just around right there and then she's gonna spend her second short skill to move up to right there spend another order I'm going to get her base to base with that right there and I'm going to end her activation moving on to the veteran Kha'Zix spending an order for four surprise so he is going to move to here another four over here Spending another order and moving him to right there. And just gonna, well, he's gonna be, his facing is gonna be this way here, but he's just gonna be like that for right now. And that is it for the Ariana turn one. All right, so for my first action, I'm going to move my entire group up four. Um, Let's see, I can arrow. Okay, so my arrow, this actually does cause the mine to trigger and it does cover all three of them. Uh, I am also going to go ahead and reveal that marker there and I'm going to declare a shot against the Sakil there. So we'll go ahead and resolve the, well actually what is your second short skill, Brian? Um, I was going to 
throw a swarming gr grenade into the mix. So my Sakia was going to throw a swarming grenade, mm -hmm. and then I was going to um, choose to take pot shots. At the marker? At okay. The marker. Yeah, which will be popped out, and we'll be able to actually your Stewart, and we'll be right back shortly. Okay, so the damage of the mine is damage 13, starting with the Sakil here. I don't know. Okay, he does fail the roll. Uh, do you want to remove Simeon armor? Yes. Okay, so removing Simeon armor, he is still out. Moving on to the Kamal. He is unsuccessful. He actually falls unconscious. Moving on to the next one. Also unconscious, so we have two unconscious markers and one without simian armor. Okay, Brian needs a five or under, I need a 14. Five. Ten. Okay, that was... Okay, Brian just needs to roll above 11 not to go into the unconscious state. He does not. Brian needs a 14 here to be successful. Just a normal shot, it is. And what was the damage on that? New rifle. Okay, should be damage 13 at yep. minus four. So I need to be to nine. I do. And next one. Sniper rifle. Yep, sniper rifle with zero range, so should be 11 again. Yep. Okay. No, that is unsuccessful. Okay. All right, I'm gonna spend my second order and I am going to move from here to here. Okay. I think that will actually trigger an arrow from him over there. I'm not even gonna bother. I know what he has. Okay. Move for my second order. Okay, right there. Okay. I'm gonna spend another order. Okay. I'm gonna bring this unit. Second, four is going to be here, here, and here. Okay, so my Chasura here can draw a line of sight to those guys over there. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a dog and see if I'm, see if I'm successful. I do, so I'm just going to go ahead and shift back two inches to there. Out of line of sight. All right, I'm gonna spend an order here. And I am going to attempt to use my medic kit on my unconscious model. Okay. Um, plus three bonus, so... 14. I think with a critical with med kits, and I could be wrong, so correct me in the comments if I am wrong on this. Just trying to smooth out the game here. Um, so I think with a crit with a med kit, your model doesn't have to pass a willpower check, so you would just be able to automatically get up with that model. Last order here, and try to get the other one up. Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay. Successful. Go and roll under a 13. Come on, baby. Nice. All right. So the other one gets up. Okay, so we're back and we have those two orders back that weren't going to be lost. Spend an order. Activating this model here. She is going to just go this way. This is going to be interesting. I don't know if this is a horrible, this is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to try it. She's just going to enter activation right there. So you can take shots from everywhere. Okay, resolving a shot between Galrail into her right there. Got a 10, that's successful. What's the damage on that, Brian? That was a sniper, right? Yes, sir. Sniper rifle's 15. 15, so minus 3 because of my armor. Alright, she's successful on a 20. Got to resolve the rest and over there. From this guy to over here again, needing a 14. Alright, another successful shot. Need to beat a... That 
that is successful, right? Yeah, because it's minus three. So yeah, no, it's 15 normally. Okay. Next shot, we got the combo rifle coming up next. Right, zero range, need 11, go ahead and roll. Uh, that is unsuccessful. Moving on to, what is it, HMG? HMG. Okay, no sure thing, go ahead. That is successful. Damage 15, uh, minus three, need to beat a 12. I do, 15, okay. Activate. I'm going to activate this camel marker here. It's going to move four to there, another four, two over there. Spending another order, activating this marker here. Uh, she is going to stay in a prone state, going half of her movement. Two inches. Yeah, she'll be fine, another two inches. And she's going to go to right there. Check in. Okay, we're good. Spend another order. Going to move her. She's going to get out of her prone state now. Moving another four. And four again. Spend another order. Uh, I don't want to do this. Well, going to move two. Two right there. Still in prone. Another two there, still staying prone, and spend another order, another two inches, staying prone, right there, okay, nothing can draw a line of sight, nope, we're still good, and another two inches, two right there, another order, getting up out of the prone state, moving four, and moving Four again to right there. Short, move, uh, short movement skill. Uh, Brian just needs 15. He's taking a shot with the gout rail there. And that is successful. I need to roll. Uh, it's damage 15. So I need to roll. He has only armor 1. So I need to roll up a 14. He does not. So he goes to the unconscious state. This is the game state. And we're moving on to Toha turn 2. Sight through there, so you're all good there. Okay, I'm gonna spend another four and move them here. Alrighty. Um, now I think you could have caught line of sight after my movement. Probably. Um, this is line of sight through right there. Yeah, I would be able to draw a line of sight to him. And if you guys are seeing this, his facing it actually was against this wall, so his arc was this way. Resolving this shot between the gal rail and the veteran Kozik, I need to roll under 10. Brian needs to roll under 12. We got 18, that's a fail. Brian's successful. So I am armor. Uh, All right, veteran Kozik needed to roll above an eight to be successful. He is at eight. No, he needs to beat it, so he goes into no infestation mode, and that is it. Okay, I'm gonna spend another order. I'm actually just gonna move about three. Get back into line of sight. I'm gonna take another shot. Sure thing. Uh, this time, I think I'm gonna roll my dodge. Just seems to be a safer bet here. I need to roll another 12 for my dodge. I'm successful, we're gonna roll five, so my nine beats are five. So I'm gonna go and move my two inches, and he is going to move right to there, tucking out a line of sight. I'm gonna spend an order, and I am gonna move this guy here, four. Okay. And uh, no line of sight? No. Four. Okay. And I don't think I can actually see you even though I'm on the bike, so with my front arc. So Brian's gonna take a shot with the gal rail here to right here. That's three or BS I believe twelve. Well, so I gotta roll under, under nine. nine. That's a five, so that is a successful shot. I do have my armor, and I do also have cover minus six to the roll, so you need to roll above a nine. 
I do, so I am safe. Uh, now I do get to turn because I was just shot at. And actually, you know what? Um, I would do normally do my guts roll here. I'm going to choose to fail my guts roll, and I'm going to move her to right there out of line of sight. All right, I'm going to spend another order here, and I am going to move him four inches. Do right there. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any line of sight from what I can tell. And there is not. Okay. And I'm gonna move him another four. Okay, and you're ending your activation right there, so I'm gonna take a shot at you. So that was Brian's second short skill, just moving into line of sight of that model there. I'm using my boarding shotgun, I am using the armor piercing mode, and then you drill on an 18. I do. That is damage 14, and you do not have cover. So roll above a 13 to be successful and keep him in the game. You are successful. Brian choosing to throw a grenade at me. I need it under an 18. Brian is under a 15. No. Mine's successful. And roll above a f four. Just roll above a 13. Go ahead. Uh, whatever. Yeah, roll. He does not. So that has simian armor, so you can choose to remove the simian armor if you so choose. Yes. Okay. Brian choosing to remove the simian armor, so that model does um, remove. another order. Throw another grenade. You know what, folks? It's all about the grenades. My okay, grenades 15. bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> I bet they do. You would crit. You would crit. Ah, crit right, I'm quit. going to spend my last order and move four collective document from that corpse. All right, willpower 13, right there. Under 13. New. Okay. Spending an order, activating this camel marker here, moving to right there, and it's going to reveal itself as a tank hunter. Boom. It's going to take a shot at him in the back. Armor piercing heavy machine gun. I'm in my plus three range, so I need to roll under 15 on four dice. So we have a total of two. Being above a 14, so a 10, 2, and he is dead. Okay, activating him again, spending yet another order. Moving him to, oops, right there. And I'm going to actually go ahead and forfeit his short movements, or second short movement skill, spending another order. I'm going to do what's called cautious movement. And so long as I start my activation and end my activation out of line of sight to right there, nothing is able to take shots at him. Now I'm going to go ahead and spend another order and I'm going to peek him around this corner here. And I'm going to go ahead and take a shot and I'm going to split my shots, one, 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 and one against those guys there. So we'll be back. Okay. Brian needs under an eight, I need under a 15. I have a seven, so that is successful. Damage 15 and armor piercing. So again, roll. Uh, nine is unsuccessful, so he goes unconscious. Okay, Brian needing under an eight again. Mine successful. Go ahead and roll. Nope, another unconscious. Three. 17, no, unsuccessful, right? Unsuccessful. Okay. And you're at plus, or well, you're at zero for your next guy, which is the heavy machine gun, so under 15 for me. Okay. I think a crit. Plus three, right? Yeah. So that's a crit. Is it under a 15? You said you need to roll under a 15. Under a 15 for just to be successful, the target number being 15, which is a crit. Okay. So he just takes the point of damage, but he's not unconscious yet, so he just loses the point of uh, point from his health. So spending one order here, activating this camo marker, moving it up four, and another four. Spending my last order, moving it up face-to-face -face contact with that, ending my turn, going on to Toha turn th order. I'm gonna move this group four inches. I'm gonna 
spend another order. Four, four, four. Jeffrey, no. And four. And I believe I have line of sight. Oh, yeah, to her and also I believe this guy here. Yep. Okay, so this guy here, Veteran Kozik, is going to actually just go ahead and dodge. And what's your second short scope? Uh, I'm going to fire. All right, fire it well. Okay. Under 12. And let's see. That's a, those three are successes. That one's not correct. Correct. Okay, so three dice. I am. This is regular HMG. Yes. Sir. Okay. So I need. Oh. Yep, he's dead. Bye. Uh, just right here, so I can get into line of sight with her. And okay. I'm going to take a shot. Sure thing. Uh, she is, well, my second short skill is a stir. Yeah, I can't use words. Uh, she's gonna go ahead and take a shot back at him. Okay. Okay. We're gonna check distance here. So we are just past 17. Just past 17. And because it was my streak of the ring, right? Yeah. Okay, and then I'm minor chisel. Okay. So, taking a shot, that's unsuccessful. Yours is also unsuccessful. Hello, uh, which gun was that? The yeah, viral combi rifle. Oh, okay. Doesn't it have uh, three shots? Let's go ahead and uh, roll your two right there. Okay, so still a lot successful. Okay. Last order start. Just because what the hey. I'm going to move this guy here. This guy here. This guy here. Okay. Uh, I am going to shoot with her against him. Okay. To right there, and then this is going to come out of camo and do a shot into that one right there. And your second short skill? I'm going to fire. Well. Okay. What are you firing her into? I'm going to fire. I'm going to fire everything into her. Under okay. 15. Brian needing base, which was 12, right? was 12, right? Yes. Okay, so those all miss. Okay, and you wanna go and resolve the shots from him into her? Yeah, it should be four, I believe, because you have the HMG. Uh, let's see, so we got three successes, I believe. Uh, or wait, well, minus three, so actually 13 is unsuccessful, because you need a 12. Uh, so yeah, and I need to roll above a 14. I do not, so that puts her in an unconscious state. And then we'll be back with the shots against the Scots Guard into him, and he has a Molotov. Resolving the shot in between these two, need to roll under a 12. I do not, so that's unsuccessful. And is that it for your order, Brian? That is it. Okay, moving on to Ariel and Okay, you're gonna spend an order activating the Tank Hunter here. That's all right. He's going to move up four. Nothing can draw a line of sight. Moving another two. Spending another order. Moving him up yet again. Another four. That. And another two. Two right there. Spend another order. Moving up four. I don't think. Let me just double check here. No, no line of sight to there. Moving to right there, spending a third order, moving him up, another four, and another two. Okay, that's it for those three orders there. And spending this order, going to put I'm going to activate this guy here, I'm going to poke around the corner, and he's going to attempt to take a shot at some guys over there. What is your AR, O'Brien? Fire. Okay, we're firing with everybody into him? Yes, sir. Woohoo! Alright, let's see it. 
And these are the rolls that we got. Uh, the five is successful, the five beats Brian's three, and that is it. Brian need to beat a 10 on one die. He does not, taking a wound. Brian rolling for the HMG, just need a 12, that's successful. I have armor, whatever it is. Armor three, I'm behind cover, so minus six from damage 15, need to roll above a nine. I do, so he is good, and is she going to take her shot? She is. Sure thing. Combi rifle? Yep, it's gonna be at uh, minus three, right? Or It'll it be plus? zero, because she's at plus three. Sure thing, uh, right. Okay, that's successful, it's 10, and it's damage 13, if I believe, or recall. Yes. Okay, six again, and he is still good. And that ends Ariana turn four. One, two, three orders. Okay, I'm gonna spend one order, and I am going to turn, turn, and turn. And turn and burn. Fire at will. All right, so he's gonna take a shot into her, and this guy is going to take a shot into him right there. We just gotta, oh shh. I didn't do it. You would. So this shot between here and here, uh, I rolled a six, Brian rolled an 18. Uh, she failed her, her save, so she's actually on unconscious. So Brian to roll under a 13. Got a crit, so he just goes straight to unconscious. And with the other shot, I'll see if I can beat it and see if he passes straight to dead. He does not, so he's just straight up dead. Okay, I'm gonna spend another action. And I'm going to have my guys go over there and stomp on him while he's dead. Uh, actually, I'm just going to turn. Now, uh, you know what? We did forget to resolve that shot there. I'm just seeing if he did or not. No, he means... Mm -hmm. Okay, he's good. These guys with my two light shotguns. Okay. And so your second short skill? I'm gonna fire. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna spend an order. I am going to move four. Okay. Yeah, I was... will declare a shot with this guy here into the Ectros there. Okay. So if I need under 13, I'm. Okay. So I think I'm dead. And just from the angle, he doesn't really have a cover, cover bonus here, so... Dead, dead, and super dead, so he's dead. Um, my special order token uh -huh. on my lieutenant. You're using your lieutenant order? Mm -hmm. Okay. I am going to go four. All right. And then four. Okay. They're just going four and four. Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll a dodge, see if I can get under a physical 12. Nope. So she stays stationary. And your last order? Um, so my last order, and I'm going to move another four. All right. Under 12. Um, 19. Uh, let's see. What do you need? Oh, okay, so. I got plus three. Plus three. So, so 16. All right. So, you can make saves. What was that? Damage? It was so. Viral combi rifle? Oh, okay, so that's the BTS. Uh, BTS is zero. So, what was the damage? 13. 13. So, I need to roll above 13. I do not, so she is unconscious, and that is game. We'll check and see what objectives we completed. Good game, Brian. Weird, awkward, left-handed shake. Don't manage yes. to get advanced, which is I need at least three models over the center line at the end of the game. I did manage to kill his lieutenant during the game. Clear the area, have none of your active models in your own deployment zone at the end of the game, which, let's double check. Okay, I did manage to get clear the area, none of my models were in my zone, and infiltrate. I did manage to get the tank hunter in my enemy's deployment zone. Moving on to Toha, 
advanced, have at least the same thing as earlier. Uh, he did not manage to get that. He did try to get the collect uh, the document, but he did not manage to get that. The capture, uh, kill two models in close combat, he did not get. Uh, clear the area is the one point that he did get. So this was an Ariadna victory. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Ooh.